building ports, developing power stations, selling machinery. China's trade with Latin America has been one of the big world economic stories of the last quarter century. The consequence of a nation and a region at two opposite sides of the globe, finding that they each had what the other needed. Historians see a turning point in 2001, the year China joined the World Trade Organization. The timing was right. Many countries in Latin America were coming out of their so-called lost decades. A series of economic crises meant that the region was way behind much of the rest of the world on infrastructure and energy investment. At the same time, there was rising Chinese demand for Latin America's abundant commodities, from oil to soybeans, to fuel its own growth. Since then, as Latin American economies have grown, so have their middle classes, increasing demand for many of the things China produces, from electronics to cars. Trade between China and the Latin American Caribbean region has soared from 14.5 billion in 2001, the year China joined the WTO, to almost half a trillion dollars last year, a 31-fold increase. The state-owned China Development Bank and the Export-Import Bank of China have become among the leading lenders to Latin American governments. Between 2005 and 2020, they together loan some $137 billion. The question is, can all this continue at the same rate? Is it a partnership that will last? Some have pointed to cultural differences between China, with its reputation for discipline, and the more laid-back Latin America. But there are efforts underway to increase understanding on both sides. One of the major difficulties of the Chinese investors to make more business with the region is really to understand Latin America. As far as I know, China has tried to bridge that gap by opening Confucius Institutes, by trying to enhance its soft power, but there is still a long way to go. Like all relationships, the one between Latin America and China has not been without its ups and downs. But after 25 years of sustained trade growth, the signs are that there's more bringing the two sides together than there is keeping them apart. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN, Caracas.